Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at how to rice i3 if you're a beginner. Now, I will say that I'm a long time user of i3, but it's been a long time since I've been a beginner. So it's going to be hard for me to pretend that I am one, that I are one. So uh, just we're going to try to go about doing this in a way that's easy to understand. So I've installed i3 on Manjaro and I've made no customizations to the configuration file at all. The only thing I've done is had it generate a configuration file and and chosen the Windows key as the the modifier key. That's all I've done. The, there was a uh, i3 config error, which I'm going to fix here in a second. I'm going to just show it to you. Before I jump into that, I will just want to say the three things we're going to focus on theming today are the bar, the wallpaper, and the borders and titles and stuff. So just the basics. There are several other things that you can do. I'm not going to focus on theming your terminal because everybody uses a different terminal. I'm not going to focus on theming dmenu or any of those things. That will be for another video or another time. So let's just go ahead and jump in to the main view here. Now this is um, the i3 simple terminal I believe is what it is. Um, that's actually We can actually look I think. I think it will tell us here. Yeah, X, it's actually the XFCDE terminal. Interesting. Okay, so we just clear that out. As you can see, I have an error up here. This is because for some reason there's two key bindings for mod D. I'm not sure why, because this is the standard i3 config file. So let's just um, cd into dot config i3. And we, if we do an ls, there's just a config file in here. So we're going to, let me zoom in here actually. Um, I'm going to vim into that config file. And this is the config file. There's lots and lots of comments here. The first thing we're going to do is search for that error and fix the error. It's going to, actually, the first thing is how we're here. We're going to change this to that. Uh, this is termite. Okay. And let's see here. And we're going to change this to mod Q so that it's more convenient for me. See, for whatever reason, we have two D menus here, or two mod Ds here for some reason. We're going to need to comment out this one here. Okay, and then just save this. And I want to make sure that when I restart i3 I don't lose the video so I'm just going to do my control R and it looks like it's still recording just fine which is good okay. and we got rid of the error which is good that means we should be able to quit this by hitting mod Q which we can and then if we hit mod enter we get termite good let's cd back let's press zoom back in cd back into dot config i3 and then config and the first, so the first thing we want to do is change the wallpaper. Now, there are many ways you can do this. One of the ways, uh, probably the easiest way I would say is to use a program called FE. You can use FE or you can use something called Nitrogen. Either one will work fine. I'm going to use FE, FE, F -E -H today, mostly because it, like I said, it's just easier and I can do it right from the command line. So let's go ahead and actually quit this because we don't need, actually we can just move to another we can just move to another workspace and do this. Now, I've if you don't have FET installed, it's just sudo pacman dash s FET. Oops. Fet. Okay. It should also be in the Ubuntu repository. Uh, it's probably in. Uh, you probably can download it from Git or something and make it yourself if that's something that you're interested in doing. Uh, I'm just I've just already installed it via. Uh, not type my password for whatever reason and see I've already installed this so I'm just going to cancel out of this now, so the cool thing about FE so right now if we look at the um, our wallpaper we have this wallpaper now you probably don't have this wallpaper it's probably just a black screen because I'm on Manjaro it's going to read a, a, a file that has the default system wallpaper in it chances are you if you've just installed this like on Ubuntu or a regular Arch or something you probably just have a black screen but we go back to here to workspace three and do fa ddbg uh, fill I believe 
and then we just do a, I don't know, we can, if we do this and do, uh, open up Nemo, which is my file manager, and look for a picture in the wall, walls, walls, oh, it doesn't really matter, we'll just do one, we'll do, um, 131.jpg, so do three, so, uh, pictures, walls, 131, there we go, and if we, now if we change to a rank screen, we've changed our wallpaper, that's step one, that's the easiest way to customize i3, job done, right, as they say, so if, the, the problem here is how do we get this to, be your wallpaper every time we reset i3. So if, because if I go through and do mod shift R, well, I mean, it stayed this time, but sometimes, for, and probably for you, it'll actually go back to the black screen. So we need to be able to reset or restore this every time. And this is where uh, the configuration file comes in. So if we go to here to the bottom, there's, probably not a section in here that actually has um, a spot for auto start but so we need to create one so if we just do insert and go to the bottom here and do um, exec underscore always fa dash bg dash fill oops, dash dash bg fill and we're going to do colon sign home slash pictures slash walls slash and then whatever that the we're just gonna call this dash 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 one three one I can never I should have chose one with an easier so we just go here and do it was this one here let's do um oh my apparently in Nemo you can't we should be able to do this Control C, Control Shift V. There we go, and that will make sure that every time we restart the computer or every time we uh, restart i3, the same thing, the same wallpaper will come up every time. So we can just exit out of insert mode and save this. Okay, now that we have the wallpaper set, which I want to make sure that we still do, which we do. The next thing we want to do is customize the bar, which is that little thing down there at the bottom, which you can barely see probably on the screen. Now, there are many different status bars that you can use in i3. You can use i3 status, you can use i3 bar, you can use i3 blocks, you can use poly bar, you can use lemon bar. There's just dozens of these things. Which one you use really depends on which one you have the most experience with. And I've decided today to choose one that I have no experience with it at all is called Bumblebee Status. Now, uh, let me go to the GitHub page, which I have opened here. This is Bumblebee Status. It's on GitHub. I have no experience, like I said, I have no experience with this at all. So uh, we're just going to be uh, winging, winging it. Uh, I've done a little bit of, like, tried to do a little prep work here. Not necessarily been so successful, but... We're going to give it a go anyways, so we're going to try this from the AUR bit. Instead of using an AUR helper, which will install this thing in like user share, I'm going to try to make it so that it installs it in my i3 config. So I'm going to open up another, another terminal here, and cd into config.i3. And then we'll get clone. Now, in order to do this, you will have to have git installed. So I'm just do control c control v Okay, we're going to get clone that, and then we're going to cd into the Bumble the Bumblebee status, and what we should be able to do now is do this one here. And we're gonna need a password. Okay, and then yes. And yep. And we're installed. Okay, so we can just clear out of that. Now, if we do another LS, we should be able to. It's like we have nothing actually here. This is the problem. If we do a locate now of Bumblebee status, I'm going to do cd, cd, 
and we do a find. We'll do find. Do a find. Uh, one will be. So that found nothing. We'll CD up a level or two levels, I guess, and do an FD. One will be status. Yeah. See, it moved it to bin. Oh, I bet you could use. Alright, because the reason why I, I'm trying to find this is because we need the location of Bumblebee status, which should be this here. So we're just going to copy and paste this. Control Shift C. We'll go back over here. Actually, I'm not quite done with this. We can close this, though. And we can go through and do, uh, let's see here. We need, we need this here. Of course, I'm going to end up, I don't have my clipboard manager here so I'm gonna end up having to go back through and find that again so we are uh, we're in our i3 config now we're gonna to want to delete these lines here and control shift V and paste this here all right and we want to delete from here on so this was you slash user slash bin I believe slash bumble the status, I believe. We'll see if that works. It's probably not a slash afterwards. Right, so the modules we want to use are these up here. We're just basically copying from these. You can use whatever mo modules you want. We're just going to copy these. We'll actually copy this too. And we got to delete this part here. And control shift V. Okay, and then the mo module parameters are these ones here, which just basically tells it how the to form at the time. All right, delete this part here. Control Shift V, and then the, the theme we wanted to use. Let's scroll down here, and we, we're just I just used this one here, the solarized one. Control Shift C. Control one, Control Shift V. Now I don't think it actually has to have a brackets have brackets around it, but so I'm, but I'm gonna go look just to see. It has an example up here. Yeah, see it doesn't have brackets around it. Okay, I probably could have just copied and pasted this whole thing. Now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't matter. Go back over here. All right, now let's see if this works. The only reason why this wouldn't work is if they have the path wrong. So we'll save this. Control Shift R. It does, in fact, work. Look down here. If we want to move this to the top, let's, we're gonna have to go th th go and look at the uh, i3 window manager. Uh, i3 window manager. Dot org. And we're gonna look for the, the, the docs, user guide, and we're gonna search for bar. Figure the bar, i3 status, and then one of the things we can do here, I believe it's going to be, is allow us to put it at the top. Yep, position top. Here we go, right here. Control C, go back here. Save this, mod shift R, and it's at the top. Huzzah! And that's how you do the bar. Now, I guess, now like I said, there are innumerable number of bars out there. This like I had no experience, and that was how quickly this one is. I like this because you do all of your configuration right here, and it has a whole bunch of predetermined, th pre-made themes that you probably, you know, would have to spend hours upon hours making yourself. And like I said, if we go back to um, three here and we go back to the number of themes, you can just see how many themes there are here. There's just tons and tons of themes. Most of them are pretty similar. I will admit, but there are quite a few themes here and they're just kind of awesome. You can also make your own. There's a, uh, a way, uh, all the documentation on making your own theme is right here. It's really cool. It's really easy. If it's something that you want to delve into, if you don't want to use one of the pre-made ones, that's cool. All right. Now we've done the bar. We've done the wallpaper. The next thing we want to do are fonts for the title bar and colors for the title bar. When I'm talking about the title bar, I'm talking about this part right up here. It's kind of ugly uh, out of the box. And we, this will also take care of the, um, 
colors for this. So the way we do this, so we, let's search for colors here. I think we're gonna, yeah, this is what we need right here. Actually, you know, I'm not actually sure. This might not be the right one because this is part of the bar. Let's go, let's go to the top. Fonts. Changing colors right here. All right, good. Color class. So this is going to give us border. Okay, this this is what we need. We need to color, copy and paste this into our config file, which is after. So we need to put it after the bar, but before our auto start file stuff. So these are just regular hexes. So we, we've went with the solarized thing. So if we go through and actually Google uh, solarized uh Solarized color palette. And I obviously spelled palette wrong. And I spelled solarized wrong. Who needs to know how to spell? Here we go. But what I needed are the, the decimal, the actual colors. And you're not actually going to, of course, you're not going to actually give me the, the codes. I, why can't I? <laughs> For the love of goodness, why can't you just give me the codes? I and mean, surely the codes are here somewhere, right? You would think? No? Why would... Oh, hold on a second. Of course, you're not going to label them which one's which. Of course not. Why would you label them the, uh, properly? A few moments later. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's completely useless. We're just going to go to use one dark. Screw it. When in doubt, always use one dark. As you can tell, I had no plan. So this actually gives me the codes. How about that? Holy crap. Let me change to a different workspace. And I'm going to move this over to there. You're not going to be able to see it anymore. But that's okay. We'll go to one here. Now, we want client-focused border to be red. So this is get into insert mode, which we are already in insert mode. Where is the cursor? We want this E06. Actually, I believe it's E06. E06. Oops. Can't type. Good lord. I might as well just retire. This is dumb. C75. Okay. And um, text can stay the same. And we'll just see how that works. Control Shift R. And we have a red border around the title around the title wonder why it didn't go all the way around so let's I believe it's because we need this one here to be also the same thing let's change this e06 e06 c75 and do refresh. Now I just did the background. Okay, so this is just the title. Okay. I thought this would also do the border, but I was wrong with that. Child border, maybe? Change this. E06. Oh, this has been a long time since I've actually had to do this. Like, like I said at the beginning, uh, it's been a long time since I've been a, you know, a beginner. Usually I just copy and paste my own config, and I've never changed these. Never changed these. Yep, that changes. See, now we have the the uh, red all the way around, except for this one side. Now, if you're new to, to i3, that blue side there, that indicates where the next window is going to spawn. It only does it for the first one. But you can change that by just changing the indicator color here to the same color. So if we do E06, C75. Okay. And now it is red all the way around. Okay, now... So that takes care of the border and the, the titles. We want to go up here to, to do the fonts. Oops. Oh, we're already at the top. I can't, you can only go to the top so many times. So this is where you do the fonts right here. This is only, I believe this is only going to work for the titles. It may not work for the bar. So if we just do, ch we just change this hack nerd font and change this to 12 or 13. And do Control Shift R, 
there we go it actually did do all of it so now we can see how um, it's bigger and it's changed the font that was easy enough um, obviously it has to be a font that you've installed it can't be a font that's not installed so the next the last thing I want to do is change the color of this stuff here so let's jump to the top here go, go to the bar where's the bar bar font uh, let's see bar colors right here all right so what we're gonna do here is copy and paste this stuff here Control shift oh, we're gonna need that last squiggly bracket Control shift C there's a reason why you copy and paste this stuff is because this is work this works right um, so just go here and go back to the bottom and within this squiggly bracket here Control shift V okay so the background we want to change to let me go back over here and get my color codes to two eight two C three four okay now we want to change this to so the way this works is um, color class which is so the, this is it's the first part here focus workspace border and then background and then text okay so border let's let's actually go through and border back background text okay very good now if we change let's see the we want the background to be I don't care let's just I mean we don't really want it to be red let's make this one here the purple one C six seven eight DD and the text can stay white and the border would probably be best to be just the same C six seven eight DD if we do right this and control shift R and we have it purple with white now the, we want that's the focused and um, inactive one is so would be like three here we can change that to uh, let's see let's change that to change word ABB to BF and we'll change this to 282 C34 and we'll change this to be the same as the background ABB to B I think I messed up. It doesn't matter. We can go down here and change this. We, this is the one that we wanted to change those two things to. ABB to BF. ABB to BF. Oops. 282C34. Now if we write this, Control Shift R. Now we have, we have changed the background. Now this also did, looks like it changed some of the, uh, well, no, I guess it didn't really change the things here. All right, so that is a very, very brief guide to customizing i3. Now I'm gonna call this part one. Eventually we'll come back in here. We'll make our own Bumblebee, Bumblebee status theme. Maybe we'll go through and show you how to customize a terminal or something to match it and actually have a plan for uh, what the rice we're going to do is. Uh, I just wanted to go through very briefly and show you how to rice i3. And I think I've, did, I've done that. I've showed you the wallpaper. I've shown you how to do the bar. And I've shown you how to change the font colors and fonts. Those are the th really the three main things you need to know. The best part about i3, I think, is that it's very easy to customize. So there are just so many different ways to do it and it's easy to do it's not something like i3 you don't have to go through and recompile it every time you've made a change uh, you know you don't have to patch it for to get things plus the documentation is fantastic I'm going to link to both the documentation for Bumblebee and for i3 if you have any questions you can either leave them in the comments for me I'll probably be able to answer them or you can just look at the documentation because the documentation for i3 is just fabulous it's awesome Anyways, if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We've made some really good progress. We're in the 170s now. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with that because we only started in like November. So go me. It's good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.